Hey guys, what's up? It's time to do a speed test comparison between the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G versus the Xiaomi 11T. And the Xiaomi 11T is powered by Dimensity 1200 Ultra SoC with 8 GP of RAM, while the A53 5G has Exynos 1280 SoC with 8 GP of RAM. On the back, we have quad cameras on the Samsung, 64 megapixel optical AMS stabilization main camera. 12 megapixel ultra wide, 5 megapixel macro, and a 5 megapixel, which is a depth sensor. While on the Xiaomi, we have 108 megapixel main camera, 8 megapixel ultra wide. Also, we have 5 megapixel, which is a tiny macro lens. And the back on both phones is made up of glass. While on the Samsung, we have a plastic back. And the frame of the Xiaomi is made up of aluminium, while the Samsung has a plastic frame. On the bottom, no headphone jack on both these devices but we have dual speakers on both phones so i am really really excited to see that how is the a53 is gonna stack up against the xiaomi 11t so without any wasting time let's get right into it now let's quickly boot both of these phones up at the same time logos came up first on the a53 5g Both phones is running on Android 12, One UI 4.1 versus Mi UI 13. Xiaomi 11T is faster when it comes to booting up. A53 also right behind there. We have one or two second difference between these two devices when it comes to booting up. Now let's talk about the display on the Samsung. We have 6.5 inch Full HD Plus Super AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate while on the Xiaomi 11T we have 6.67 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display as well with 120Hz refresh rate which can produce up to 1 billion colors. Also we have punch hole on the center on both phones which is more smaller on the A53 5G and the bezels I would say it is more smaller on the A53 5G so everything's closed up in the background no application is running in the background now let's start off with the phone dialer that is faster on the Samsung. So next on the list is the settings. That is very similar. Now let's go to the display. We have 120Hz refresh rate on both phones and you can see. Now I'll check out Amazon shopping. And that one faster on the 11T as you can see. So now let's see the scrolling. Feels really really smooth on both phones. So now let's open this. Now let's check out some games application. Now let's start off with a Candy Crush Saga. That is faster on the 11T. Instagram, faster on the Samsung. Let's see Snapchat, similar. Spotify, similar. Let's see Pinout. Faster on the 11T and you can see. So the games is performing more faster on the 11T. Now let's see Subwoofer. So in Subwoofer, 11T again, I will be faster there as you can see. So let me show the speakers on both phones first on the Samsung. And here's the 11T. The speakers it is more louder on the 11T but actual sound quality I like on the A53 5G. Now let's opening up the Temper N2. Temper and 2 again faster on the Xiaomi 11T. 11T is done. A53 5G also done as well. Now let's opening up the Twitter. And that one is similar. So now let's open Zedge. So now let's see the scrolling. And face really really smooth on both phones. 120Hz is working absolutely fine. So last time I launched the cameras on both phones, default camera application, let's see which one is faster. Both phones is open the camera at the same time. And the camera performance, it is more better on the Samsung. So now let's look at the front facing camera and the front camera looks more good on the A53 5G. So now let's see wikipedia.org on both phones. I am seeing default Google Chrome, wikipedia.org, same Wi-Fi network. Very very similar, Samsung is a tiny bit faster there. Let's see the scrolling. Feels really stable and smooth on both phones. 
so now let's open this that one again very similar scrolling feels really really smooth next on the list is the gsmarina.com samsung is faster there this time let's see the scrolling feels really really smooth on both phones so now check out RAM management. Both phones has 8 GB of RAM. Let's see who is performed good in the RAM management. Phone dialer, refresh on the 11T. Settings, Amazon shopping, refresh on the 11T. Yes, it is. Let's see Candy Crush Saga, refresh. Instagram, Snapchat, seems like refresh. Spotify, refresh. Let's see Pinout, refresh. Subway Surfer. Let's see temper into refresh. Now let's opening up the footer Zedge. And last we back to the internet browser. I accidentally cleared the internet browser. So guys, over up to say regarding the app's opening speed, as you can see that and the Xiaomi 11T overall is performing more faster than the Galaxy A53 5G in games only, but in system based application, both phones is performing head to head. In terms of the RAM image wise, in that area, Samsung is performing excellent in the RAM management. While on the Xiaomi 11T, we have a lot of refresh. And both phones also has a 5000 mAh battery size. We have 67 watt fast charging versus a 25 watt fast charging support, but no charger with the Samsung, which is available right out of the box with the Xiaomi 11T. So that's about it. And thank you so much for watching this speed test comparison between the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G versus the Xiaomi 11T. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below regarding between these devices and follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well. And I will see you in my next video. Peace out.